Okay, so last time, Van Van got totally jealous of Colonel Sanders, and Ashley the bitch is trying to steal him away from us. How dare she? I bet he can see right through her, her fake ass attitude. Okay, he belongs with us, not her. Oh, please. Well, Van Van the man man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on, I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone, please. My fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transport you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. So should we focus your mind and meditate on this moment? Try and identify every flavor, savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. <gasps> Ooh, what should we do? I think we need to listen to his heart. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man, for, a for a flavor, are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Okay, we're gonna approach him. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> How bold to come and ask. Oh my, that pimp staff with the chicken, wow. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use blank. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Oh my, oh, oh, Colonel, oh. Wow, you've never had guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again, howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Oh... It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say, the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world, you can bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Uh, we can nag him to show your own strength. No, that sounds like something bitch Ashley would do. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Or we could be modest but thoughtful. Now, I don't want to change the Colonel's secret recipe, but I think being innovative might impress him some more. You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It has a way of leaving an inspiration on all who taste it. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. 
I actually had some thoughts on how you can improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe, and you think you can do better? Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <gasps> heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties: habanero pe, poblano, cyan. But that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. A recipe is about balance.、It、involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to. Oh no, we screwed up. He's angry at us. Oh no, no! I'm sorry, Senpai. Forgive me. I'm such a baka. Let this be a le- last time you improvise on my recipes, Mel. I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. That certain- certainly didn't go as planned. You better head back inside. But you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you des- you're desperately chasing after him. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place! It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second! Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans. You're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miram looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Sorry, Miram, I didn't get a choice. I wouldn't have chose this if I had a choice. Maybe.、Uh, hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you. If that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner?、Aww. Sure, Mel. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miram is stand- left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Beep boop bzz.、Hmm. Oh my! Two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Oh, my Miram is popular with the guys. She's she's uh she's already got two suitors. It looks like you have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Can't Miriam decide on her own? Oh no. Okay, she called Pop cute, and I secretly think. Pop might be like a, like a savant. He might be a genius at cooking. We don't know. He somehow got into the school. Clank is adorable to everyone, but Clank is a machine, and he might not know how to love. So Miriam, please don't be angry at me. I'm gonna choose Pop for you. It's a gamble, but there's a chance he might be a genius. Sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. Well, oh, he's sad. Maybe next time, okay? We still have like two days of lessons. Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef. He holds up a banana and, without peeling it, proudly eats the entire thing. Oh wow! Good for you, Pop. Good job. It's disconcerting, but Miriam is too kind to act grossed out. Yeah, she's nice and patient for him. I love your enthusiasm, Pop. She looks at you like, really, this kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Oh, we get to cook with the Colonel. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Oh, Senpai, we can make steak tartare. Seems easy enough. It's fancy, and you won't even need to cook it. But the Colonel doesn't want easy. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Maybe, but I don't think they ever served octopus at KFC. 
or your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Secret recipe handed down generations after generations. We're gonna choose the patties. Ooh, he got hearts for me. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes? <gasps> and gravy? I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please. Let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does anyone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Look, Ashley, you're just jealous, okay? Bitch, back off. We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me? Ugh, no jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Mel's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Oh, poor Van Van. He's crying. He doesn't deserve her either. Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into a boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley, Van Van. Are you working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no, it looked like Mel was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. Wink. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down like we cast a com complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear, she's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley's really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders' hunk of hunks in your time of need. Or turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. Um, um, well, Miriam we kind of set up with someone she doesn't like apparently so she might not be too keen on helping us also also getting Miriam to help us makes us seem helpless okay we're not helpless we don't rely on others okay but I'm gonna ask Colonel Sanders to help us because who else can crush Ashley's dreams the fastest why her love interest of course and to show that he belongs to me uh-huh Colonel Sanders tell her off for us I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not to bicker with a prima madonna. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me, isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on Mel as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Oh! Senpai, thank you! Take that, Ashley! Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Mel's natural talent or their loyalty. That's right! That is right! Truth! Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgi corgis and their short but sturdy stature! Look down at your station and realize that, in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. 
It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Oh my! Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny, Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. <laughs>